You want to feel regal on a big, blue-blooded, barren boat? Then come with me for a quick walk-around tour on Fast Break. She's a 1990, 43-foot barren, LOA 46 feet. She's well-powered with twin Detroit diesel engines at 550 horsepower each. She has a large generator, sleeps six in comfort, massive boat, solidly built, just waiting for the next owner. So come with me for a quick tour on Fast Break here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are starting off at the bow, one of the best features on this. We notice that oversized rub rail right there and check out that chrome anchor. Coming down along the side, we see we've got very stiff tubular railing. It's all 3 16 stainless steel, along with the port lights. Baron is a top of the line boat, extremely well made, very solid. Check out the size of those cleats. We also have a stainless steel windshield frame right there. Right there we have a convertible top with the bimini and then here we are with the radar arch right here. Down along the side we have these nice vents right here. A little bit of stylish, it's 91, a little dated, but still classic, still beautiful. Here at the transom, we have a molded in swim step right here, and we could see our power connections right there. Let's step aboard. <laughs> Once aboard, Baron, we see we've got a grab handle right there, and right under that, we have a boarding ladder three steps nice and wide now right here here's an awesome feature we have an electric it's actually a hydraulic hatch right here and here we can see the name fast break step into the cockpit we see we've just how spacious to starboard we've got a transom seat with storage behind the backrest off to port another seat notice we have steps so we could easily access the foredeck right here we have storage nice little area to prepare food we've got a lot of space right here we also have gunnel storage right there as we move forward we have an oversized l-shaped seat right there with storage underneath off to port we have our emergency shutoffs and an ice maker right there circling around notice the size of this door it's big beefy it has these opaque inserts there to keep the cabin light yet comfortable and cool as we circle to the helm we have a secondary power panel right there and then here's our helm seat gotta love it it's a hydraulic powered helm seat slides forward and back and up and down with a height adjustment here at the helm, we have our Simrad NSE-12, all of our gauges, our tacks, right there. Here we have some more electrical switches, our bilge pump, cockpit lights, etc., etc. VHF radio, destroyer style wheel, quick stop and start right there and then our autopilot. From here, let's go inside. We enter the cabin, down a few steps, and immediately 
to port. We see we have our galley. We've got an apartment size refrigerator here. Freezer on top, refrigerator down below. Sharp carousel convection oven, stainless steel port light right there, solid countertop and a backsplash, and our dual burner stove is right there. We've got a fair amount of counter space here, and then this is all solid maple cabinetry right there. That's a picture of her out on the water. We have over six and a half feet of headroom. Here we have our entertainment center, dated classic, dual cassette, TV, amplifier. Get out those VHF tapes because there they are. We've got the player. Off to starboard. We see we have an L-shaped settee right there. And that actually opens up and becomes yet another sleeper double wide right there. That's leather on that sofa. And if you notice, the wood, it's solid wood burled maple right there. Our power panel is right here. DC power, DC main, generator start, and our AC power. And when we're done, let's just close that off. Moving forward down along the port side, we have a guest bunk room. Two bunks that are over six feet long, an upper and lower, and then right here we have a bit of a hanging locker. Gotta love it. As we move forward, we have our master suite right there. Island bed, easy to access, easy to make the bed from both sides. Drawer storage underneath. We've got a hanging locker right there. Gunnel storage along both sides behind all those panels. Overhead hatch. Almost four feet of space between the bed and the hatch. Here we have our air conditioning and a circa 1990 TV right there. We've got custom towels right there another hanging locker and we have dual entry on the head right there got a color matched vacuum flush toilet and we even have a, an additional toilet seat cover right there Gotta love it. We have a sliding acrylic door for the shower. No Woody Allen jokes as far as that goes. Nice feature in here also we have an overhead skylight. From here, we're going to go to the engine compartment. Engine access is through one of two deck hatches. Here's the aft one, right here. We've got a nice ladder here, so it's fairly easy to access. Here in the aft section, we see our fuel manifold systems right there with a generator ray core. Notice the mufflers are fiberglass and painted. We've got new batteries, our air conditioning unit right there. Here's our 13 kW generator. 
10 gallon hot water heater off in the back. And, and our battery charging system right there. From here, check out these massive Detroit diesels. This gives us a quick view of the starboard engine right here. Up against the forward bulkhead, we have our gauges right here. Starboard engine is showing 569 hours, generator at 748, port engine at 571 hours. There's bilge pump time right there. Part of our Fireboy Halon system. And then we're going to circle around. And this is going to give us a view of the port engine. There's our fuel tanks right there. Used to have chrome valve covers there, but 30 years in salt takes its toll. Oil's recently been changed and our air filters are in decent condition. Right here where the engines are, we have five feet of headroom. And there's room on the outboard side of the engines to actually get to. More batteries right up under there. And here we are up the ladder. From here, let's go check out that bow. We've got formed in steps on both sides. Nice grab rail right here. Aluminum arch. Notice we've got grab rails here. Our walk around is probably seven inches. There's part of that chrome windshield right there. Now this bow rail is hitting me at about mid thigh. Notice how massive this is. We've got our windlass right here and then looking aft this gives us a view on just how big and broad there we go that gives us a full overview that concludes our walk around tour on Fast Break, this 1990 43 foot Barrett. She's big, she's bold, she's beautiful, well powered with twin Detroit diesel 550 horsepower engines. She's got a lot of features for a lot of family and friends. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.